Good day to you, Jack of Trades. Yes, another video. What am I on, you say? I'm high on life. Anywho, you may notice a couple of uh, folks uh, singing the praises of Alpha Outpost. I, Jack of Trades, am a subscriber to Alpha Outpost. I'm an alcoholic. I know that's not a real thing, but once you check out their past missions as a member and see those crazy discounts, you will be like me and buy a whole bunch of the hideout and donate to your local Girl Scouts. Oh, that's what I did. Oh, they love me. I love teaching them. So why are we here? It's April. It's a new Alpha Outpost box. This month's theme is the loadout. It comes with a tactical loadout bag. You know, duffel bag. And a snazzy multi-tool. If you win the 500 subscriber contest, you may find one of these similar, not an Alpha Outpost brand one, but very similar to this, including those cool little tools, in your 72-hour bag prize. On the back, it tells us that there's alternate uses for the loadout bag. When it comes to staying alive in any environment, most of us need gear. Uh, yeah, most of us. A lot of people just need a, a knife, a way to start a fire, and a metal jug to treat water and their brains. So unless you were raised by wolves, I was, or a successful winner from Naked and Afraid. Naked and Afraid is not a contest. It's an endurance program loosely based on reality where they send people to the jungle, a place I will never ever go to again. Anyways, you're probably going to need some stuff that helps keep you alive. Yes, it's called your brain. Let's see. Uh, if you're new to tactical about bag, of course, blow a few examples of what you can do with your bag. An everyday carry pack. You know, kind of like a backpack or knapsack, just a, a man purse. A 72-hour kit, you know, in case you live in earthquake territory like me, or you live in uh, one of the Gulf states where they got hurricanes every Thursday. Um, an emergency car kit, everyone should have one of those. I don't care where you live. A get-home bag, you only need a get-home bag if you've got a place to come from. If you're like me and you're home all the time, you're already getting there. Or... A bug out bag that that is a good choice so without further ado let's stop gabbing and let's start looking at some stuff again this is the uh, Alpha Outpost subscription box it's $39.95 plus shipping I think a month um, and like I said the real bargain is the past missions and the clearance stuff because you can get some pretty nifty stuff and you'll be seeing some more in that uh, the past missions probably in this video but our multi-tool comes with a collection of uh, bits so that you can um you know do a variety of uh maintenance or repairs it comes with a nice nylon sheath put that on your belt look pretty hip it's a nice tactical black with the Alpha Outpost logo. The pliers are spring-loaded. Ooh, they are snug. Um, those wire cutters, if you look. Yeah, let's see if I can get to... Come on. See the wire cutters? They're not very sharp. I mean, you're going to... You'll be able to cut wire, but you're going to be... You're going to be a force in it. And let's see. What do we have in the inside? Well, you got to go ahead and close it up to get to that stuff, right? So, here's what we find in the inside. We have a, a serrated blade. Serrations already good are, are good for a number of things, but a blade this small, you really couldn't use it as a saw. Uh, it's got another mini screwdriver, even though you got a bit for it. It's got a larger screwer, screwdriver, which you got a bit for. It has a Frickin' ruler, that's slick. And on the other side, a file. Not many rulers. I mean, usually you find them on the ends of like Leathermans and stuff. Uh, 
but you know not a lot of multi tools have them there's your regular blade i want you to take a look at this now so far this is my only uh issue with this blade or this tool where is it where's ah it's over here okay i want you to take a good look good look okay you see that does that look like an edge does that look like an edge that's useless that's it i mean yeah you've got that other blade with the serration but you know this is supposed to be sharp and i mean if you imagine if you were going and trying to gut a fish or do a tracheotomy with that no so that's the only negative so far it got it ha, english jack it has these scissors but the scissors you have to take them out and you know fold them like that to get the scissors and they are that spring is super tough to close all the way and when you go to put it away you're exposed to the blade and you could you could quite possibly cut yourself and then you like I said you got that cheapy blade you also have bottle can opener Phillips head screwdriver now pretty decent except for that one that one blade and I'm sure that's a manufacturing error and not alpha outpost I mean, it's not like they can check every single one of these and it really doesn't change my opinion it's a good subscription service that's just bad luck bad luck for the person who uh, needs a sharp knife now for the loadout bag itself it is pretty big it doesn't fit in the hidey hole cam but it did come with this cool little uh, morale patch of a banana clip now go ahead and zoom it there we go so we can get a better shot of the bag okay got a beautiful velcro front here so you can put all kinds you can put um a brick free first aid kit you could put tons of stuff more morale patches it's got molly webbing so you could put more cool stuff on the outside it's got a velcro handle to keep things closed on the back side it has a whole nother pouch that you could use as an admin pouch has another zipper pocket right here so you could keep your maps and your papers and your important stuff up here it's got some mesh bags that you could keep Writing materials in, your uh, navigation kit, compass, protractor, compass, compass twice, um, notebooks, nice, large side pouch. Other side, another, this, this is the side with the Velcro, but it's another large side pouch. And guess what? You could organize all your awesome knives. Because, you know, got to have a different knife every day. Um, and there's a, you know, you could probably put flashlights and stuff in like that. And if you're going to use it for a bug out bag, organization is key because you don't want to go fumbling around looking for stuff. You want to know where everything is because you're going to be panicked and stressed. All right, let's go ahead and open up the top pouch, which is two zippers and a Velcro. There's a strap inside, so you can turn it into your immerse. But, I mean, there's a there's a lot of room in here. I mean, there's no interior pockets, but, hey, it's going to be your, your get-the-hell-out bag, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's put some stuff in there. Let's see how it, uh, how it carries. Okay, we're going to throw in our, our multi-tool. Go ahead and... Uh, I mean, we could hook this out on the side, but we'll just put it in the bag. It's our, our Alpha Outpost uh, Outback Canteen Cook Set. It comes with a plastic canteen uh, cup and a little cook set, and it comes with that cool little goat morale patch. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. Got our Alpha Outpost 
pillow from the uh, hideout set, our Alpha Outpost Super Deluxe Pup Tent with the uh, door flap from the hideout. We'll go ahead and put that in there. We got shelter, got a thing for water, we got a cutting device, we got a pillow. Come on, it's a pillow. Um, so yeah, we're going to probably need some food. And while, you know, we have more uh, compact and convenient stuff, just because it's handy and just because it's close, we're going to go ahead and throw in this uh, MCW scrambled eggs with cheese. I received this from Rachel Sunshine as part of my uh, Mega Box purchase. She knows I like freeze dried food, and, you know, MCW is a freeze dried food. All right, so what else? Um, we got water, we got food, we got shelter, we got a pillow. We need some cordage, we got a cutting device, but that ain't gonna do. So we're gonna have to put a real knife in there. So let's get to it. All right, so we got loads of stuff, loads of stuff. Remember I said a knife, right? Let's just go ahead and put a more uh, basic knife in there. Knife cover, that's our cutting edge, which is a lot better than the multi-tool. The multi-tool is a multi-tool, it's a tool. A mosquito head net, because I freaking hate those bastards. A Sawyer Mini. I mean, yeah, you've got the, the canteen cup, you can boil it, but hey, you're, if you're on the run, you just want to sip and go. Let's get that in there. A stove, yeah. The canteen's got a cook, you know, it's got the little base so you can build a fire and stuff under that. But hey, ease of convenience. A headlamp so you can see at night. A first aid kit in case you get an owie. We also have one of the best per ounce per inch survival shelters that you can get and that is the don't die in the woods emergency blanket it is five foot by seven foot if this can't protect you from the elements nothing can we've got the tent in there so we can use this as a blanket because warmth is important but jack how are you going to light that that stove or use the thing to, to boil the water well we're going to use the ferro rod striker and rod that I received from Rachel Sunshine because it'll fit right in there but Jack how are you gonna eat that ration with your hands no there's a spoon in there but hey just for a backup BAM tactical sport it goes in there but Jack what if it's too late for me and I'm delirious from dehydration whoo banana bag it's in there but Jack, what if I need to tie up somebody from getting away so that I can eat them later? Bam! 75 feet of Titan Circuit Bible Cord. If they can break, break free of that, you got more problems than tying them up. It fits in there. But hey, what if they keep talking and won't shut up? Boom! Gorilla tape. It goes in there. You got your shelter. You got your cutting device. You got your cargo tape. You got your cordage. You got your headlamp. You got food. You got a way to purify water. You got multiple ways to purify water. You got a cup to drink and cook in. You got a bottle to store water in. Right there, that all of that stuff. If you got a brain and you know how to use this stuff, that's all you really need. Now, I know what you're saying. Jack, you got all that empty space on the outside. Whatever will you do? Me personally, I'd fill it with candy. Why? Because candy makes you happy and it's high in calories. But I know what you're saying. Candy just makes you crazy. So, instead of candy, we can disperse some of this stuff out so that we can get more stuff in. Like the um, Alpha Outpost camo net in case you need to hide because you're on the run. It fits in there. Hey, that's not good enough. What for rings? You gave me a flimsy mylar blanket that attracts lightning. I could die. Well, you do have the tent. But, beans, that's not enough. How about the Alpha Outpost Ghillie Suit-esque 
poncho. It's got a cool woodland pattern. It's got some little frayed leaves and stuff like that on. You clear out some space on the side. You could even put this in one of the side packages, pouches. I know what you're saying, dude. You're crazy. That's not enough. You know what I need? I need a gun. Well, unfortunately, YouTube frowns on guns, or I would show you a gun that fits in there perfectly. It's called the Henry Survival Rifle. It's also known as an AR-7. If you replace that crappy plastic aluminum barrel with a real iron one, yeah, it doubles the weight, but lasts forever. What else can we fit in there? I'm sure we have some stuff. It might even be Alpha Outpost stuff. Come on. All the past missions come with backpacks and hats and shovels and cool shit like that. Sorry about the shit. Won't say it again. Hey, Jack. What if I successfully track, trap, and process my own Kodiak Grizzly? What will I do with the meat? Grill it! It's the Expedition Research Bushcraft Grill. It goes in there. It will fit. All this stuff will fit. I will show you. I know what you're thinking. Well, then what do I do with, uh, you know, the stuff I can't eat? Well, you know, you should use 100% of the animal or you probably shouldn't be killing 16-ton bear. But, hey, Alpha Outpost has a solution for that. Bam! In the Prime Pass mission, shovel. Let me see if I can get the juicy part out here. And I can't because it's, it's all packaged in there, all hibbity-bibbity. All right, here we go. Comes with its own little, cool little sheath. I know, Jack, take it too damn long. You're yakking. But look at that. You can't dig a hole with that. You got even saw, and you got a measure, and you got a, a good hook so that you can process your bear. But if you can't, ooh, that's a sharp. If you can't dig a hole with that, something wrong with you. You ain't right. That's right. I said it. You ain't right. I know. I know. You're saying, Jack, you're crazy. There's no way all that stuff is gonna fit in there. And we know, we know that if you were really serious, Jack, serious about turning this into a solid 72 hour, you'd have more food in there. Because you know that one little meal cold weather just ain't going to swing it. Well, let's get this stuff stored away and see how much room we got for food. Yeah, I got all that stuff in there. And I still got room for food. We need 72 hours of food, right? Best thing to take would be those lifeboat energy bricks. They take up a little space, take a very little space. You've got lots of energy in them. 72 hours of food. I will tell you after eating that these very bricks every day for five days. You're gonna on that third day you're gonna be you're gonna be mugging somebody for a cheeseburger. But hey, will it fit? Because you know it's all about economy of space, right? A brick right there on the top so the rats can get to it before you do. Now I know what you're saying, Jack. What's the point of living if you're eating cookies for three days? Well, you got that breakfast, but you're right. We should probably add something else. Something shelf-stable shelf that lasts a bajillion years. I have just the thing. Comrade Daganoff. Creamy stroganoff of venison pasta, mushrooms, and babushka secret sauce. If that doesn't pick your butt up after two days... With everybody texting me now. With two days of bricks and a breakfast and this. You, you, again, why? Why? And look at that. It, it's going to fit. It's going to fit. It's going to fit in the side. It is not going to fit in the side. It is just too, 
two red vests. These are actually pretty good, and it's actually enough food for two people. So we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Now, if you notice, there's still plenty of room for you to put, you know, more stuff. Maybe a cribbage set. Maybe a small chessboard, maybe a hat, maybe uh, like a, a rain shell or some fresh socks or some underwear. Something, ah, uh, I forgot. But will it fit? Hygiene's pretty important. You might want to throw a toothbrush in there, maybe some toothpaste or just a small general hygiene kit. Um, I have one here somewhere. It's just don't want to go and dig it out but I've made the suggestion so you can do it yourself but I definitely think you should add some of COVID Gold's finest it'll fit in there I smushed it down and for you for your bros something to deal with the stank uh, a nice little pocket shower you can warm these up in your flamers ration heater or boiling water get yourself a nice hot wipe down shower Will it fit? Of course it will. It will fit in the side pocket. The number six ball in the side pocket. And that, that, just hastily thrown together, could probably do you seven, two hours. If you find a water source. If you don't, you know, Minotaur Trading Company, I know it's a different company, it's not Alpha Outpost, but they have cans of water. Anyways, you can get a subscription to Alpha Outpost for $39.95 plus shipping. That's not bad. And you get a bag like this. Look what I did with it. Think about what you could do with it. You could probably fit two heads in there. Two Gwyneth Paltrow replica heads in there. Not to mention you could fit a boatload of ammo. And the question is, how much does it weigh? Okay, I'm an out of shape old dude, and I can do that. So it doesn't weigh a ton, and it's got everything you need. You might even be able to contact Alpha Outpost and say, hey, can I get in in that past mission with the bag? You know, the loadout one. Jack says that bag is awesome, and I want it. All you have to do is write Alpha Outpost at the little, you know, uh, connections button at the bottom. Subscribe, get your $5 box. I, like I said, don't get the hideout. Buy that separately for 15 Use your $5 one to get the torch or uh, the Outback or the Marooned or the one with the shovel, which I think is the Prime. All good bags all, or all good kits. There's even one. The, the Prime comes with a backpack. So you'll have this and the backpack. You'll be set. 72 hours, you're never coming back. Go on over to alphaoutpost.com. Check them out. Subscribe if you like. If you don't want to do a subscription service, eh, you're not hurting my feelings. But still, you might want to check that clearance area in those past mission boxes because you can get some deals there. They're clearing out matches. They're clearing out koozies. Um, what was it? Yeah, they have match sets and koozies. Fire tinder. Um, a bunch of stuff in the clearance item. Teapots. And like I said, the past mission boxes, you can't go wrong. I mean, come on. If you, if you care about somebody, buy them that hideout set and just give it to them. Tell them to keep it in their car. It's a blanket. It's a tent. It's a pillow. All three are good things to have. I've been Jack of Trades. This has been Alpha Outpost April subscription box. The loadout. Get one if you can. It's a nice bag. Yeah. The knife on the multi-tool is dull, but yours might not come that way. And then again, you can always swap it out. I mean, your stuff. Or you could always ask them, say, hey, my knife is dull. And they might send you a new one. I've heard they're good on customer service. I haven't had any problems yet, so no need. Jack of trades, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Get out there. Be nice to somebody. Eat yourself some rations. I'm out.